So you would like to make some YouTube thumbnails for your Subnautica videos. Have no fear, I'll help you make a gorgeous thumbnail. I'm showcasing this in Subnautica, but this also works in Below Zero. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, trust me when I say this, but you gotta do it. It will make me a very, very happy man. You won't regret seeing my stupid videos showing up in your notification box. And don't you want to be part of that 1.3% group that are actually subscribed to my channel? It would mean a lot to me if I earn your subscription today. To get started, you will need to know how to use the free cam command. If you don't know how to, please watch this video before continuing on this video. I go over how to use FreeCam and show a few tricks on how to use it. To start us off, we need to get a picture of something. Let's start off with a picture of a peeper. So first off, FreeCam. There's our body right there. Oh god. First, we must find an area where peepers spawn. Then once we are there, we need to do the time command, which is speed zero. Now, warning. Once we freeze time, everything in our world will load very slowly. As you can see, it's kind of freaking out over there because it wasn't fully loaded. Do not go into another area. It will load very poorly or might not load at all. So stay in the area that you are at. All right, so we could use either or of these peepers right here. Let's use this one. If we click F6 until our hood is gone, there we go, and there we go. We can frame the peeper just like that. Remember, you can click through one to five in free cam mode. The lower the number, the slower you are, which can help line up your shot. Do note, when you're about to take the screenshot, do not move your mouse. This is extremely vital. We are gonna take the screenshot now. You can just use the Steam screenshot or something like that. Now don't move, but click F3, or it should bring up this HUD right up on the top left here. Now click six on your keyboard. As you can see, we have a black and white image of this. So take a screenshot of that too. We are taking a screenshot of this to easily highlight the thing we want in our screenshot to make it even better. Plus, we can do a few more tricks with this technique too. Now to get out of this mode, bring up F3 again, and then click six again. All right, now we can resume time. Uh, yeah. And remember to do the console command speed one to bring everything back to where it was. Now let's try taking a screenshot of another target. Let's go under the Aurora get a nice screenshot of a reaper leviathan first head over there stay in the area for a little bit to let everything load because you're if you're like oh fuck oh i'm gonna shit myself okay i'll talk up here before i go down there let everything load in this area which i'm kind of doing right now by staying up here and uh, let's turn back on our HUD so we can actually see when we bring up the console command. Um, if you don't let it load here, the Reaper or any other thing out here might be in a T-pose, which it won't be a good screenshot to take. What the shit? It just came out of nowhere! So first off, we're going to do the speed 0.1 command. So everything's still playing. As you can see, the water here, it's extremely slow. Now let's find our Reaper here. God, you're a loud boy. So what we want to do is we want to do speed zero when his mouth is wide open like that. So let's do speed zero. And now we can do this. And you can just frame your Reaper to look like this. But I am noticing the water is a bit murky here. I do want to get a better picture than just that. So I'm going to go find the dunes. And we're going to take a picture there instead. Oh, make sure to put speed back to one. Otherwise, it's gonna not load everything. Am I in the dunes yet? No, oh, this looks like the mountains. I do hear a reaper though, so let's just use this one. Oh, there it is. As you can see right now, it's T-posed. It's not moving. So let it load for a little bit before you start taking screenshots of it. Yeah, see how its tail is not following it correctly? All right, reaper, roar. Oh, it's about to roar. Speed zero. That's probably good enough. Holy crap. That is scary. If it's getting a bit dark in your world, you can always do bring up the console command and do day. Or if you want, you can do night instead. <laughs> You'd be one ballsy person for doing that. <laughs> now let's say you want a picture of a reaper eating your sea moth while you're in it. We can do that. First, 
get out of free cam, which I am right now, uh, jump into the water, and then spawn a sea moth, which the command is spawn sea moth. Simple enough. And then get inside of it. Now make your way over to where Reaper is, preferably in the dunes. But now if you're scared of Reapers like me, type the command in no damage. It will act like invisibility. So if I were to ram right into this, as you can see, no damage. Now we're off to go get eaten by Reapers. <laughs> Mommy. Yeah, I think we're going into Reaper territory somewhere. Yeah, this is the dunes. This is most definitely... I hear a reaper. Okay, before we go... Okay, once you're here, <laughs> grab the attention of any reaper like you do not care, even though we're still a bit scared. Well, I am. <laughs> once it's about to grab you, quickly type the command. Speed 0.1. There it is. Hey, reaper. Hey, you see me? Oh, how much I'm not looking forward to this. No, 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 Come on, Reaper, do it. Get it over and done with, Reaper. Come on. Come on. Oh, God, help me. Okay, speed, 0 0.1. Okay. It may have grabbed me a bit early. Let me try that again. I need it to, like, you, you should do it when it's about to grab you. What I failed there was I was too freaking scared. <laughs> Come on, Reaper. I'm right here. Come for another bite. Speed 0.1. I'm ready. I'm ready for you to grab me. Okay. Speed 0. Okay. It's grabbed me. So if we do 0.1 now. Speed 0. Okay. Free camp. Now I'm just going to mute the sound because I know it's a little bit annoying. But as you can see, it has grabbed hold of me. We can even, we can probably even do like speed 0 0.1, speed 0, there we go. No, I'm muting Subnautica, it's just too loud. Okay, so it's in a suitable animation right now. Um, do be careful of leaving speed in 0 0.1, because uh, I had a issue where uh, the Reaper just went straight up into the air and kept going up and up and up the longer it stayed in 0 0.1. So try and stay at zero at at zero dear god <laughs> this is this is scary being inside the sea about doing that you know what that's a that's a really cool picture like this so we're gonna do this so take a screenshot of that f3 6 f3 oh god there's another reaper in the background we can even see it <laughs> oh no all right screenshot of that and then f3 6 there we go now this trick obviously it can work with plant life too so if you wanted to take a picture of let's say these creep vines right here if we do f3 and then six look how much it's highlighting right now like you could really bring out the detail of all of this but of course you're gonna need speed zero because of all the wave and creep vines all over the place all right now that we're all settled let's head over to photoshop or a photo editing app of your choice all right we are going to be needing a 1920 by 1080 picture for our thumbnail so go to create new 1920 by 1080 yeah that's all good there great let's uh drag and drop our pictures in there so we got our peeper photo that we made earlier with its black and white image there we got the reaper picture and we got the reaper black and white picture here and we got this one with the sea moth and the black and white image now let's group them together make sure it's all tidy sea moth and reaper this one's reaper beeper all right let's start with the peeper so make sure your black and white image is above your your colored image now we can use the black and white image in various ways one way i i use it is to highlight your selected target which is our peeper here so as you can see there's a solid black outline of the peeper here we can use that to cut out the peeper here so first off let's uh duplicate this our colored image and then we're going to go to our peeper here we're going to use the magic wand oh i need to get the tolerance down there we go put it down to two and already you can see that the peeper is completely highlighted so if we take that out boom that was extremely quick 
<laughs> I didn't even need to adjust levels or anything like that. And then what I like to do, maybe like a drop shadow behind it. There you go, it's, it's basically a sticker right now. But another thing we can do with the black and white image. Let's uh, duplicate it because we are going to be using it in our picture. Um, you see where it says normal here? Any photo editing program should have stuff like this, but we can do multiply. Oh, I am going to need to reverse this black and white image. So if we go to levels, we can just switch this around, I'm pretty sure. And then we can go opacity. We can bring that down to like 24%. So if you see, I've kind of darkened the background. I don't know. Doesn't look as great on this, but you can kind of give it more of a depth of field. Heck, you can probably even make it blurry and this can be a mask instead. So the farther things are away, the more blurry they get. Potential thing you could do. So our Reaper picture, we now have a complete outline for it. So we can use our magic wand tool. Oh. I'm gonna put up the tolerance a bit. We could probably do like 20. There we go, it's already highlighted. Go back to our actual thing here, mask it out. Boom, done. Just like that, that was so quick. Now of course we can go like images, levels. This is for the background on what I'm doing here. So as you can see, it's high, it's doing the background but not the actual Reaper. So we can make the background darker if we wanted to, but not affect our Reaper. Heck, if you wanted to, you could even probably make it like a outer glow. Where is outer glow? There it is. Oh God, what did I do? You can make it like a white glow, a red glow to make it a little bit bloody. <laughs> kind of, or heck, we got this picture here. This one's gonna be easy to highlight if I can actually click on it. Oh, I'm not clicking on it. I'm being a dumb. And there we go, just like that. Get rid of that. We have it all highlighted out. Now with this picture being the way it is, I think a multiplier might work well. Heck, that reaper in the background can even be a little bit highlighted because of what we did. Yeah, and it can really bring bring out the background in that. This is one of my best thumbnails that I actually have done because I had a little bit of blur to the background, but I was able to highlight this crab squid very easily. And this was the background I got from it. So if we actually take away my background effect here, you can see the background kind of looks a bit flat, but when I put this in, you can see the difference, right? Like it, I got highlighted all the background images like that. So wherever it was whiter, I made a bit brighter. While everywhere else that was black, I made a, it didn't get as bright. Heck, I even did it with this one here. As you can see, this was my black and white image that I got, and that's what I got in the end here. So this is what I came up with in the end. And this is what will be the thumbnail on this video. If you liked what you saw in this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content, please leave a subscribe on my channel. Also, if you would like to share what thumbnail pictures you came up with, please join my Discord channel. Link in the description below where you can share in our art section. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in another one of my vids.